Hey, good morning all. This is Dana and uh, welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. Uh, I'm going to be out doing some sourcing today, so hitting a whole bunch of estate sales and uh, looking to find uh, lots of good stuff to resell. So anyways, follow me on Instagram at Dana Invests. Uh, I hope you all enjoy uh, sourcing stuff because uh, that's what I'm doing today. And uh, if not, go check out one of my wet sold videos. You'll have a great time there too. And uh, forgive me a little bit. I'm driving, so I'm going to cut the intro short and just say, let's get it. day two and they are picked pretty clean but I grabbed this uh, golf cart heater it's a little uh, propane thing and uh, it was ten dollars minus 25 percent so 750 and uh, comps show it's worth about 50 plus shipping so I'll take it and uh, I was looking at those two uh, green Fenton glass lamps in there but they had wood bases and wood tops and uh, I just could absolutely not find anything like that. So I'm assuming it's towards the tail end of when those were interesting. In the past.
Just grabbed this guy. I don't know if I even should have got it after looking at it. It was three bucks. They're selling for like 20 plus shipping. So I guess I'll do all right. The uh, radio that I was looking at, uh, there was no price and I asked them how much. Let me try to put that down without breaking it. And uh, she said 40 bucks and I think I could get 60 out of it, so 40 is just too much. So, anyways, on to the next one. Small wall entry pet door. You can try. Yeah. You got 15 and 30. Not going to do anything on the 30. No, because he's for 60 on mine. Yeah, but then you got to pay fees and shipping. And I was going to offer 20 on that and 10 on this. 30 for the payer. 25, I might go. 25 on that and 5 on this. What's in there? She'll take 10 on that. It's a pet door. She's got 15 on it. That's James. She's not here, so I can't go down any lower than to 10 on that. You want to do 30 on the pair? No, no, I won't yes. sell it for less than that. On how realistic it is we'll find out but this book is listed at $170 on Amazon in used condition so I bought it for a quarter and I listed it for a hundred and uh, we'll see if not it was a quarter I'm driving and I already put the stuff in the trunk so I'll just have to show you at the end but uh, uh, stuff at a yard sale kind of in between and it was literally just one guy standing out there so uh, I didn't film uh, at that one, but I got an old radar detector for two dollars that looks like it's worth like 30 bucks um, You know, it, it is something just to fill the car uh, And I got a Babolat uh, C uh, Drive 102 I think it was and those were selling for 50 to 70 uh, and I paid five bucks for that one uh, and it might actually be new uh, it still had the tag and everything with it and a uh, case so 
uh, happy about that one. Anyways, uh, we are coming up on the next estate sale here in a second, and uh, I'll pick back up when we get inside. <laughs> Even that one, I did grab the uh, DVD VHS player, and uh, I think that's the remote for it. But uh, they're asking 20, I paid 10. It looks like it's selling for 100 free shipping. Shouldn't cost more than 20 bucks to ship anywhere in the US, so that's good. Just for fun, so I'll kind of lay this out. I got this uh, Suns Control the Floor. Uh, it is on a Logo 7 XXL tag, and it's got all these autographs on it, which I'm guessing are kids, maybe, or people that were at a uh, event, because um, the front is like that, and the back is like that, and. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I saw one without the autographs that had sold for like 40 bucks, and uh, then there's some of these uh, when they were in the 95 playoffs uh, towels that went with it, and uh, I paid two bucks for that, and uh, the one that had sold was like $48 um, with no autograph, so I'm going to list it probably 75 for best offer and see what happens. So maybe there's a uh, famous autograph on there and I just don't know it. So. Anyways, let's see if we can find something else.
Alright, wrapping up in that one, I got a, let's see, maybe I started this too soon, but I got some vintage Jewish books, um, I don't know if they're worth anything, this one looks like it, it says it's in 1919, but then when I look it up online, it says maybe like 1942, uh, got this Harmony remote, uh, and then the box of these two broken toys. G.I. Joe. There's 1984 Hasbro. P.A.T. P.A.W. And then this one right here. Same thing. I don't know what that is. But Ten bucks for all that is uh, what I spent. And, uh, I have no clue what I'm going to get, but I know the remote's worth at least 20 so I'll double my money on the remote, and then everything else, whatever it is, is good. $2 on the shoes and $1 on the sweatshirt, so it's $3. Okay, all right, hey, so uh, quick recap on that last one. I got, let's start with, I'll start with these. I got these uh, old cookbooks and a uh, Westinghouse electric range manual. I got those all for free, and uh, so if they're not worth anything, no big deal. But I figure I'll list them for a couple bucks and get something. I got these, uh, badass 993 New Balance shoes and uh, they're a little bit small um, but I paid two dollars 
and uh, it looks like I should be able to get at least 50 bucks for that. And then I think the uh, buy of the day, potentially so far, is uh, this new with tags Pro Player XL Cardinals versus Braves 96 uh, sweater. And uh, look at that. This thing is like brand friggin' new. And uh, anyways, fun stuff. I just realized I forgot to say what I paid for it. One dollar. <laughs> One dollar I paid for this. So, anyways, Pro Player XL Cardinals Braves. Comes with a free hair. Gross. Anyways. Uh, this one was a little bit of a bust. I didn't find anything really exciting. They had some uh, reproduction military buttons up at the register. And they wanted $95 for three reproduction buttons. She didn't believe me they were reproductions, but it is what it is. Yeah, that one was a bust. Uh, even at half price, there wasn't anything worth buying. They wanted 10 bucks a piece for used PC games. All right, that one uh, was a bust. And uh, I'll save you the pain of uh, walking through all of the house uh, because there was nothing exciting. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'm gonna head home and lay it out and uh, show you what I got. Uh, when I get there, if you haven't yet, like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you are a subscriber, hit that bell notification uh, so you know when I post new content. Uh, I'm up to 100 subscribers, which is awesome, um, but I'm only averaging like 25 views per video, and uh, I've got to get that up. So uh, anyways, thank you for subscribing regardless. Uh, and again, if you're not a subscriber, please consider it. Uh, i got a lot of what sold videos and uh, a lot more how-tos coming up. So anyways, uh, thanks for joining me, and and uh, see you in a minute. All right, hey, we are back at the house and uh, I just kind of laid everything out. So let me uh, show you what I got and uh, we'll see how I did. So uh, that's the haul from today. Um, we'll start at the top here. I got this Phoenix Suns uh, control the floor with all these uh, different random autographs on it. Logo seven tag, double XL. Uh, again, I don't know if any of these people are uh, famous or not or what this is um, but it looked too cool to get or to not get uh, and like I said I had seen one similar sold for uh, a decent amount of money without uh, any signatures and then it came with these uh, uh, let's see playing with fire 1995 playoffs it is windy, windy outside uh, they're gonna blow away so anyways they're just some towels that you shake at the uh, to support the team got this new with tags pro player uh, xl cardinals versus braves uh, league championship from 1996 uh, again new with tags uh, that thing is legit and i paid a dollar for that uh, i paid three dollar or two dollars for that and uh, one dollar for that got this babalot uh, tennis racket with case um, it is the c drive 102 i paid five dollars uh, for that at a yard sale Let's see I'll come down here paid a dollar for this. Uh, that's gonna sell for like 30 bucks on Amazon uh, I paid 10 for this small pet door um, This one is gonna sell for like 50 bucks uh, I got all these video games. This box is still full of controllers and nunchucks and all kinds of other stuff uh, But we got Mario Kart uh, Wii Sports Resort Wii Sports Wii Sports um, DECA Sports, the hunting one, Trivial Pursuit, uh, as you can see, just all kinds of games. And there's still more in there that I didn't get out. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2, Jungle Beat, um, Anakin, or in the system, and it is the uh, uh, original one that has the GameCube controller uh, hookups, uh, Final Fantasy Fables, and then, let's see, got Ace. So, all of the uh, N6 or not N64, <laughs> the Wii stuff. Uh, I paid eighty dollars for all the Wii stuff, uh, and if you know what they go for, the Wii Sports, Wii Sports, 
the other Wii Sports, um, the Mario Kart. Uh, I'm way, way, way into the profit uh, on all that stuff. Uh, I got a, a SNES uh, with controllers, and uh, I paid twenty dollars for that at an estate sale. That one's probably worth sixty to seventy, uh, unless I hold out and get some games to go with it, and it might be worth a little bit more. Uh, I got this Logitech Harmony 650. Uh, that remote uh, I paid a dollar for, and is probably worth about twenty. Uh, I got this golf cart portable heater or camping. Camping stuff is really good right now, so uh, I'll need to get that listed soon. Got these 993 New Balances. Uh, these ones I paid two dollars for uh, at the same sale that I got that Braves uh, sweater at. But anyways, two dollars for these. And uh, depending on uh, how I really shake them out, I didn't find this exact colorway. Um, but even used, these were selling fifty dollars plus. Uh, so I'm pretty stoked on that. I got the uh, Furby babies. Uh, in the original box, uh, but it is loose. It's been taken out. Um, so I don't know exactly what that's worth, but I paid 25 and uh, Tendo made me do it. So uh, if you don't know who Tendo is, uh, I don't know if what you're watching on uh, YouTube, but check out Tendo uh, on his channel. Uh, he collects Furbies. Uh, I got the Sony uh, DVD VHS. Uh, it says it's a um, DVD recorder as well, so I have to double check that, but uh, I could be wrong on that. And uh, I paid ten dollars for this. Uh, the yoga book I paid a quarter for. That's selling for well, it's listed at 170 on Amazon, and uh, I listed mine at uh, 99. So we'll see what happens. I got these 1984 uh, Hasbro toys. I don't know what they are, what they're from. I'm guessing GI Joe. Um, but anyways, I paid a dollar for these, and then there's some more parts for them down in this box. Uh, you can see down in there. And uh, let's see, uh, a lot of these books in here I didn't pay anything for. I got them for free. And then there's some uh, uh, vintage uh, books down in here, like this one here, Readings from the Holy Scriptures for Jewish Soldiers and Sailors. And uh, this one's not really the best condition. Um, but it just looked interesting and uh, in the first page here copyright 1918 and then there's a bunch of different pressings of it So I don't know it could be worth something. It could be worth nothing uh, But either way, that's my uh, haul for the day. Hope you had fun like share subscribe. Have a great day and peace